Fundii, hello friends and welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hello, my name is Anne-Marie or Annie for short. So if you are new, I have just moved house and I've just reorganised all my nail goodies and I thought I'll do a little tour um, around my nail corner and have a nosy in my drawers because I like watching those videos that people do. So I thought, why not? Um, I do have an extra helper with me today, as usual. I do have Kobe. Um, yeah, he's a mammy's boy, so wherever I go, he goes. So, without delay, let's jump in. So, my nail area is in my bedroom. I don't have enough rooms to have a separate room, but the master bedroom is rather big. However, I haven't got enough surface area so I put my glitter on top of my chest of drawers um, next to my bed. You can just see um, the headboard there because I don't know where else to put them at the moment. So this is my glitter collection. I've tried to put it in some sort of colour order. So you've got all your purples and then go in to your pinks and orange, yellows. We've got some shapes. Then up here we have our blues and greens, then go into um, bronze and golds, blacks, silver and white. And then in here we have some mixes. Um, I need to get another rack for my glitters, so they're still stored in these taller bottles. Uh, but most of these are a mix of different colours, so I've kept those separate because you could put them in um, any of the um, colour coordinated areas so all most of my glitters are from sparkle supplies uk i do have some charlie's nail art um, as well and some from other um, glitter places either from nail art supplies or what friends have sent me so that is my glitter collection so if i just spin you around so please excuse the mess on the side. As I've said, we are in the middle of, well, we have moved. Um, so we're in the middle of um, packing. Um, so yeah, we haven't put the doors on the wardrobe as yet. But this is my little area. Um, I'm really pleased. Um, in the old house, I only had that desk there. Um, so it's good that I have extra areas now, especially to do hair and makeup for work and so forth. And there's the gorgeous Kobe with all his toys up in the bedroom. But yeah, so on this desk, um, on the side here, this is where I have all my hair and makeup. And then just in the window there, I have all my pads of paper that I use as background. Here then, I have all of my Miss You tips that I use on myself or for press-ons. Um, quite a few different, let me just sit down, yeah, so quite a few different styles here. Um, I find them really, really good. So, Kobe, the shakiness is Kobe giving me kisses on my hand, which is lovely, but not great while you're trying to film. So, these are all my different nail tips that I use. Um, like I said, these are from uh, Miss You. I haven't found anything as good as these yet. They're really, really thin, so they really do look natural. Hello, sweetheart. Um, on so yes, yeah, so we got mini stiletto, short coffin, full stiletto, almond. That's another mini stiletto and square. Then down here, this is all my stamping. Um, so that is a roller. These are all my Christmas plates. And then in here then I have all my polishes, stampers, some of the bigger um, stamping plates. Um, so we've got, yeah, this one, so I haven't used them yet. So that's from Clear Jelly Stamper. And I bought this one from Flora Nail Shop. So this will come all the way from Canada. 
put those back. And then in these folder shoes, and that's all my Christmas stickers. That's all um, general stickers, um, decals and my foils. So let me get these up and it'll be easier to have a nosy. So can you, yeah. I put you by here. So first up then, here is just a selection of water decals. Um, I don't use the decals very often, um, but there is a selection in there. So that's those. So this is my Christmas book. So I do have a lot of Christmas stickers. Um, yeah, you see that one? That one. Then these ones, these are really, really cute. I love these. Some more coloured snowflakes. I thought they are quite cool. Do a bit of a tartan or plaid set for those. We've got some winter um, Christmas flowers. Then we've got everything in black. And then we have these little cutie ones. Some more winter flowers and the snowflakes, and then we've just got that's blue. We've got some holographic green, metallic green, and red, and gold, and white. I've said I got loads, I love Christmas. Then we go into silver, and we've got some holographic. Hello, hello. Are we going to smaller stickers? Um, these ones are really, really cute with the little gonks and the penguins. I really, really love this. And little snowman, they're really cute. Some more stickers with gonk. These are all white, so that's why you can't um, pick them up. And then we have some Christmas water decals. So that's my Christmas one out of the way. And then here then I have a double one with stickers. So here I have all my flexi tapes. We've got some rainbow coloured here, um, gold and silver. Then we have two lots of black, pink and blue. We've got some wavy lines and different line shapes. And we've got hollow gold. Now these are wave shaped, and as you can see, these are gorgeous, aren't they? So you've got pink, what other colours? Um, so there's pink, there's the silver, so you can see what the stickers are. Um, we've got them in this orange colour, like mermaid, aurora, silver hollow dots, and some orange, but I thought, yeah, they were really pretty. I probably have those off sheen, I would imagine. back in of course we got our stars you know me i love anything to do with stars and moons um hence we've got some moons by here and we've got some leaves and we're going into the flower stickers then I'm trying to rush i don't want this video to be too long but i do like i also like to see what other people have Oh yeah, lots of flower stickers and leaves. Got some more wavy lines. Got some hearts, some butterflies. These are some Chanel. Then we got lots of fruit. These are all the stickers I done in my epic nail art haul from Sheen. Some leaves, and then we have. Mickey and Minnie. I like this one because it has Pluto on. We have Winnie the Pooh. We also have Marvel. So we've got all the superheroes on there. Some gorgeous autumn um, flowers there. And some, yeah, just pattern, pattern ones. These are gorgeous. These are um, dream catchers. And they are those 5D. So I've got two sheets of those. So these are absolutely stunning. I love these. Um, again, 5D flowers. Same as these. These are all 5D. So we've got some snakes and evil eyes and some moon. 
some more stars and moons, some more five deep, some leaves, some more autumnal stickers. These are five deep. These are really cute. So these are hearts and it's all animal print. I thought they were really, really cool. Just some more black and gold. I think these come in a set of sheen. Then we've got some planets. So I only got space for one sticker um, until I need to buy some more storage. Thank you. Is my folder full of foils? So this is a. It's like those trading cards. Um, these are like the FIFA ones. You can pick these up in the supermarket for about eight quid, and yeah, they hold loads. I think it, yeah, I think it was five hundred and forty. Um, so here I'll just go through. I want to show you where we paid. So I tried to color coordinate. So these are like all the clears. Then I go into lace and yeah, all the lace prints, and then I start into animal prints, and then we go into silvers, and then the colours are so purple and pinks, and um, blues and greens, reds, golds, oranges, you name it. Then into all the marbles. Then we got some. Yeah, like um, ombre ones in some colours, some marbles. Then we've got flowers with a clear background. So we've got the negative space. Then we've got um, more florals. So these are the solid colours. And then just some, yeah, bit ones. And um, these are then all... Um, Tom and Jerry and Disney and Mickey and so forth. Down here is a huge pack. These are um, like graffiti style ones. Um, there were so many and they would have taken up nearly the whole book. Some butterflies, some more prints. And some, yeah, odd ones there. And then right at the very back, I do have a few Christmas ones. So I do have quite a bit, even though I got loads of foils, I got plenty more room for others. So let me just put those away. Right, so excuse the state on my desk. I'm gonna um, get some sticky back in and clear it. This is battered. Um, it was old, I used it before it became my nail desk, but now it's just battered with chips and marks from acetone and everything. So this is my one desk. So on here, I have my little silicone mat where I can try out designs, but I mainly bought this to use for crystal placements. Because usually um, when I put crystals on nail, I have no plan on the shape, what I'm going to use or anything. So I thought that would be quite good. This is just a little gold tray. So I usually keep some clips and baubles so I can tie my hair back when I'm working. Up here is the wonderful advent calendar from Sparkle Supply. So watch out, those videos are coming very soon. Also have my dust collector for when I do my own nails. That is a spare phone, so if I want to copy a design, I'll take a photo on that phone so I can record then on this one. So here I have all my pigment brushes, my acetone and alcohol, and then these are all my nail art brushes. So I've got like liners, big long ones here gel brushes, um, other sort of brushes like ombre and angled and everything. My most used tools for nail art, so my dotting tools. Um, these are used for clean up. I got a little stirrer, my little scissors, my really pointy, oh, what are they called? Tweezers. I had a brain freeze then with a little silicone at the end to start pressing for your foil. And then this then, so I've just got some pens in here. Um, I've got my empty plastic bags, either to put foil in or if I'm doing friend mail. And then I have all my practice tips up here. Um, 
the clear and the black are stiletto, but I could only find clear in these little almond ones, but um, that is fine. And then I have my lamp, so I can either use it on this one or that one. So underneath, excuse the mess, so just some space storage. Um, this box where I'm kicking by you is full of stuff that I've put aside for different giveaways. That's just my rubbish. Just some more, um, these ones where it's just some more um, practice tips. And that's just the box for the bedroom that I need to unpack. So now this is my first drawer, which I absolutely love. So let's start this side. So here I have all my pigments. Um, some of these are from Sparkle Supplies. Some of these I had in a friend mail from Aggie, from Unpolished by Aggie. And others I have just purchased. By here is a box that I had off AliExpress with just a, yeah, like a manicure kit here, which I thought would be really cool to keep if we're going away on holidays. Then down here are all the chromes. Um, I also have some dusts. Um, these are like the chrome powders. All the different shades. Up here then, I just have a range of palettes. This is my lovely palette that Just Joe Nail added for me. And then just some display ones there. Here. Then are flakes, so lots of different flakes. Um, this is the tool, you know, to bend the metal slices or sequins and everything. The other bit is you somewhere. And then these, look, I had this off AliExpress. This is glitter, um, but I thought it's perfect for sweater nails for this time of year. So I'm pleased about those. Then um, these are more then of the foil flakes, just some little hay bands there. So yes, yeah, lots of different colours. So we've got ones that are like strandy, if that's the word, in different colours. And then the bigger flakes and the foil flakes there. Then over here then is all my mylar and some other things like this is the um princess pixels from nail sugar um this is just a big tub of white glitter that i'm keeping in here because i'm ready to do all the winter nails so lots of different mylar as you can see most of it is from sparkle supplies uh, this is just a mix of different color mylar um I didn't need it all. Um, I had loads of different colours that I bought right at the start. So I've just taken a bit of everything and made my own little mix, which I think, yeah, is really, really pretty. These are shell pieces then. And then over here, um, this is just my box of press-ons that I can use. Then in here, I have all my glitters that I've had off Aggie. Um, what have we got? Oh, some inks, um, some purple nails there, some watercolours. So these are pinks and purples, and then we've got golds and greens. So you couldn't see that then in this one. So these, and like I said, so this is all... Um, Apart from that one and that one, it's some extra things from Charlie's, and then yeah, lots then from I've had off the lovely Aggie. These I had in my recent last AliExpress haul. These are really cool. They are yeah, color changing, especially this one. Stunning. And then over here, so I got some paper forms that my lovely SNF sent me. So nails by Anne Marie. Um, so SNNF for um, any newbies, the same name, nail friend. So I'm called Anne Marie, and she is called Anne Marie. 
So these are just some random cutters from Miss You and so forth. Um, some more like Mylar Stay Glitters and then some flakes I got from HCF, which is sad that they are closing down. Um, and then these are all really um, light, like, yeah, flakes. It's like powder, but they're gorgeous from AliExpress. So this is one of my pretty drawers. Oh, sorry, and up here, these are just my drawers for my nail tip stands and a little dish for alcohol or water or so forth. So that is this desk drawer. I love this one, really, really pretty. So if you go up to the top on this desk, glass just a drink and my snack. This is my phone mount to film. This is my lovely picture. Now I bought this probably two years before I started doing nails and I loved it then, but I thought this is the perfect photo to have or picture to have in my nail area. Got my Yankee candle. I, this is just a ring light. That is a mini ring light to put on your phone. And then just, um, I keep an empty one of these to shove all my used um, wipes in um, when I'm doing um, nail art or nails or anything. Um, and then I can chuck it all in the bin afterwards. That is just a candle holder, but it's glass. So again, can hold um, acetone or alcohol or so forth. Just another little holder. And then in here, this is a tub of things that I need to... Um, I have filmed them, but I need to put them away. So... Let's do this drawer because this is quite boring. But this drawer is all of my press on nail stuff. Um, yeah, I do pre press on nails for people. Um, if anybody wants some, then you know, hit hit me up. I have my practice hand in here, my finger, and just some batteries. Um, this is my main drill, nail drill. And I've also got a backup, and that's really, really good. It's really, really powerful. Um, like I said, that's the charging wire for that spare phone, just some paper. And then these are I had from Miss You. These are gorgeous, Dajan. They are peppermint foot scrub and peppermint foot and heel balm. They smell divine. So yeah, that was yeah the boring one out of the way. So going into this drawer, this is nice and colourful. So these are all my um, different gel paints. So here are all um, spider gels from Rosalind. These are all glitter gels from McCart. Um, these are different um, paints from Born Pretty. That's the silver metallic paint from GD Coco, uh, which is a sister company of Ben Elisa. These are like um, mermaid D type ones. Um, let's see if I can pick one up and show you. See, you can create those swirls. These are really, really pretty and sticky. Then I have all my um, nail art paints. So they are Rosalind and GD Coco, which, yeah, Venalisa. So whites and blacks and greys and creams, reds, orange, yellow. So, you know, the usual colour coordination here they are my gel liners from credido credido i know i'm not saying that right i do apologize here are my tools um so in here these are the tools that i use on myself so like my nippers and cuticle pushers and a brush this is a french line smile cutter but you can use it as a template then in here, I have like my crystal picker upper, my tip cutter, my Mickey finger palette and the files and buffers that I am currently using. Right up here are different pigments. So these are all, I got greens, blues, and then it's the mix of the, um, the neon ones. 
So that's a dust brush for the pigments. And then up here I have some nail art sequins and stuff. So we have these ones. Back. So these are like silver metal studs. Yeah, some gold metal. Some of these. Then we have a mixture. They was all separate at one stage, but yeah, they just got mixed up. So lots of different um, sequins in there. Here are some more metal things and some females and plastic butterflies. This is a mix of sequins that I had off Amory. So it's everything you can imagine in here. And then in here, what do we have? Oh, so again, like sequins in the type stuff. So we have some different colour butterflies, the larger ones. Then we have these different stone pieces, which Amory sent me again. I'm so lucky. So lucky to have good nail friends. And then we have all the different metal pieces and shapes these are some of the designer ones so silver gold i'm not going to show you all then we've got like um dried flowers and what else have we got oh we have some shell then we have some bigger like mylar type flakes and I kept them in here because, yeah, it just fits nicer. Um, these are bigger mylar. And then finally, it's for the, this is a Halloween sequins and charms. So that is everything in that drawer. So nothing under my desk. So I got two trolleys. Let's put it over here so you don't have to see the mess. So this one here um, is nail polish. So I've got all my Miss You colours, my Venelisa and Venelisa paints and Born Pretty. Um, yeah, so that is those. Next shelf down, I haven't organised these. I usually have them in number order, but I just haven't had a chance to do that. So I have all my Beatles collection, um, my Premier Gel and CND. And then in the bottom tray is space, oh, sorry, and essentials. So like I got my gloves, those dental bits, a pot for cleaning, um, all my um, nail bits. So yeah, just all my like extra nail tips and so forth. And kitchen roll. And then if I get this one. So this is like my essentials. So I have all my different so base coats, top coats, matte top coats, you no know, rubber base, um, rubber top coats. These are all my different practice tips. So I've got my white stilettos. I've got natural coffin. And then I've got like almond ones. Thank you. That's um, oh, cuticle removal from Missy. It was really, really good. I've got some gem glue. This is a little LED lamp with the stamper. And here then I have all my nail bits. And then some in here. 
as well then at the back then and you know so these are all my build gels and hard gels and everything i also keep a pot of clear acrylic here i've got my stick it um, which is really good for if you wanted like raised foil um, and then these are just like different like carving gels um, so these are all sculpting and builder gels then yeah so lots of different um, companies but again just sticking to the main ones so we've got Beatles, um, Born Pretty, Premier Gel, Rosalind, Fenelisa, Miss Hugh and those are Halo um, I don't really use those um now it's in my gorgeous drawer so before i do that one let me take you down to the bottom so down here this is where i keep all my other tips so these ones are like really really long square ones um yeah so just some extra ones they're like mini lamp and and so forth and then we have all my gems and charms so in here so these are all my little um, caviar beads in different colors some more metal shapes but yeah mostly caviar beads um these are just the trays i keep separate from using glitter i keep these purposely for um crystals or rhinestones so yeah so we've got these gorgeous different pointy backs we've got some long shapes some yeah a b ones and red ones and those flowers so in this one should we have a look? Yes, these are some of my crystals. Again, all, all round ones, but and they're in different colours. Then we have um, shapes, so like the teardrops and pear drops and all that in different colours. So, so more shapes again. I love having a really nice crystal collection. And then we have... So all those crystals are glass. And then we have some of these ones, so some of the resin ones, but they're still beautiful. Um, up here I've got some pearls, um, but yeah, they are really, really nice as well, as you can see. This one is some more of those um, like resin 3D flowers. Um, I use those in my bridal set that I did. We've got some roses. Um, red ones there that I'm hoping to do some Christmas nails with and then finally the final one I have is all my nail charms so we've got lots of different varieties like these ones here are all Christmas ones of course we have to have some moons and stars we've got some frame ones we've got dangleys yeah so and i've still got some more to put in um but i'm gonna have to start a new one of these tabs you can get these off um sheen 
quite cheaply. Um, but I usually get a pack of, I think it's three or four off Amazon for like 7 99 So that is everything. That is my room tour done. Excuse the box. That's the doors to go on to the wardrobe. But yeah, I hope you enjoy this tour. Sorry it's a bit long, but yeah, I wanted to make sure that I showed you everything. If there's anything you want to know about my stash or you want me to do something with, like a design, then please let me know. Um, so, yeah, thank you for being patient and waiting for me um, while we moved. Filming, as you can see, has now resumed. So get ready for lots of Christmas designs and, of course, opening of the SSUK calendar. But, yeah, thanks for all your support. If you are new or even if... No, you are a regular. Don't forget to hit that like button. And for those of you who are new, no, please hit that subscribe button. It really does mean the world to me. No, drop me a comment. I always reply to every single comment as well. But I think that is everything for now. I hope you enjoyed having a nosy around all my nail art bits and bobs. So for me, it's Hoyle Rao. Goodbye until next time.